Hi, welcome to this lecture of Excel Skills for Business. In this lecture, you are going to unlock the basics to the advanced level tools and techniques that are essential to handle the business requirements. I have just opened Excel 2016. If you are working with an older version, you may find something looks a bit different but they mostly work the same. So you don't need to worry about anything. In 2016, you will come to this screen where you can choose to open a file you have been working recently or got to a blank workbook. We are going to click blank workbook. And here we are. Welcome to Microsoft Excel 2016. Let's start by getting familiar with where the things are, what they are called. To begin with, we have a large toolbar at the top of our screens. This is called the ribbon and it contains nearly all the tools we are going to need. There were so many that they couldn't fit them all into one stretch. So we are on the home tab of the ribbon. But you all notice there is also an insert tab that has tools for inserting things like picture and charts. Or there is the data tab which gives us tools for working with data like sorting and filtering. As we go through the course, you will become more familiar with the tabs and the tools on them. Coming back to the home tab, I would like you to notice that the tools haven't been scattered randomly across the ribbon. They have been logically grouped. So for example, this group is called as my phone group and it contains all the tools that I need to change my text. At the bottom right hand corner of some of the groups, you will find what's called a small dialog launcher. If you single click on that, it opens up your additional options. We won't need these very often, but it's nice to know that they're there. I'm going to click cancel to close. One tab on the ribbon that is a little bit special is a file tab. When we click on the file tab, it brings us to the backstage view. And this contains all the tools we need for managing our file like open, save or close. To come out of the backstage view, click on the back arrow or press the escape key on your keyboard. Now we would like to use our backstage view to open our first file. So I'm going to click the file and make sure that you have come to open as well. If you have worked with the file recently, it will appear in your recent list. Otherwise, you will need to click the browse button. If you haven't already opened it, please make sure that you have downloaded the file you need for this practice video. As I have already given you this file in your resources, which is downloadable one, and it is highly suggested that you better download the file prior to moving further. Mine one is on the desktop on the Udemy downloads, and I have put that file into the Axel skills for businesses folder the file we need is sms euc l01 and i'm going to double click to open it we now have something to look at the ribbon does take up quite a lot of space and so we have the option to collapse it by double clicking on any of the tabs that does free up a space but it can be a bit alarming when your ribbon suddenly vanishes. If that happens by mistake, don't panic. To get it back, just double click on any of the ribbon tabs and we are back. Now just above the ribbon, you will notice another toolbar. This toolbar is called as our quick access toolbar. And it has many of the favorite commands like save and undo. It also has the redo, but even more importantly, we can change this quick access toolbar to contain the tools that we need. If I come to the drop down arrow and click, it gives me some other favorites. There's some really great stuff over here. I'm going to click on the sort ascending. Now, if we need to quickly sort my data by city, I can click into city and click a to Z and my data is resorted. What about all the other tools that aren't on our drop down? Well, they can be added too. So for example, I'm going to click on my review tab 
and come to my spelling and my proofing group. Now this time I'm going to right click and then click add to the quick access toolbar and there it is. You can see it. So absolutely any tool in your ribbon can be added to the quick access by right clicking. Customize this toolbar to speed up your workflow just under the ribbon. You will see another bar called the formula bar. This bar allows you to see what data is in a cell and also added the data. Now let's come down to the main section of our worksheet. When you open an Excel file, it is typically called a workbook and a workbook will contain at least one worksheet. Inside a worksheet, you will notice it is divided into columns and rows. At the intersection of each of these is a square, which we call a cell. I'm going to click on the cell and you see it gets a solid border telling me that this is an active cell. Each cell also has a unique identifier made up of its column letter and row number. So I am clicking on D2. If I click into this cell, I am now in C1. Last quick thing at the bottom of your workbook is another small bar called your status bar. It's grey in 2016 version but may appear green in other versions. If I were to select some numeric data, you will notice my status bar gives me the average count and sum of all those values. So the status bar can be used to see what's happening in your workbook and also modify some of the views. We will look at how to use it more in the next video. The last thing we want to do now is to close our workbook. To do this, I'm going to click file and close. Excel will check if I want to save first. The pop-up window will come up in front of your screen. And if you want to keep your changes, press save. If not, don't save. Now it's your chance. Have a go clicking around the ribbon, trying to practice the different tools. I hope that you will practice in a very good manner. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lecture.